Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be going over affirming the consequent and proving that it is a formal fallacy using a truth table. So let's get started. So the, the structure, the form of affirming the consequent is like this. Premise one is if P, then Q. Premise two is Q. And the conclusion is therefore P. So it may not seem like much from looking at the symbols that this is an invalid jump of reasoning, but when I give a verbal example, I think it will help a little bit. Let's just look at an example. So if I like basketball, then I am tall. I am tall, therefore I like basketball. So this is not true, right? Just think about it logically. There are tons of tall people who do not like basketball, so just because somebody likes basketball doesn't mean they're tall. All these kinds of things don't really make sense, right? So this is a verbal example of why it doesn't work. But I think we can even do better than a verbal example. We can throw a truth table out here and show exactly why it's false, why the whole thing is invalid. So let's do that. So the truth table, the way I like to set up truth tables, I first put the variables here just to show what we're working with. And then I put each premise, premise one, premise two, and then the conclusion. And the goal here is to find a row where the premises are true, but the conclusion is false. Okay, so let's set this up. So the beginning part of a truth table is quite standard, which means you should know how to do it already. You have two trues, two falses, and then you alternate. True, false, true, and false. Now, in case it's not clear, the reason why we're doing it this way is because we want to cover all of the possible situations. Both are true, both are false, and then they're mixed. Okay, now you have to know the rules when it comes to something like this. This is a conditional statement, right? Which means that the antecedent is P, the consequent is Q. Now for a conditional to be false, you need the antecedent to be true and the consequent to be false. In all other cases, it is false, or sorry, it is true. So true arrow true is actually true, true arrow false. So that's when the consequent is false and the antecedent is true. So true arrow false, that is false. Every other case is true. False arrow true, that's true. False arrow false, that is true. Okay, so just be sure you're aware of the rules here. If you don't know the rules for the basic symbols, then you have to go back and find those first because everything builds on itself. Now P2 is Q. Well, we have Q right here. So this is one of the reasons why we write the variables out, because it helps just go through. So true, false, true, false. Okay, I can do that. True, false, true, false. And the conclusion is P. Well, we have that already here. We could copy and paste it, but let's just write it out. True, true, false, false. Now let's see. Is there a situation where the premises are true, but the conclusion is false. So make sure you understand what I'm saying here. It's not just that the conclusion is false, because that doesn't really help. The premises have to be true, and the conclusion has to be false. So like this, right here, true, true, and false. Right here shows that this is an invalid argument. It's invalid because both of these premises are true, but the conclusion is false. Therefore, these two premises don't lead to the conclusion, right? That's the key. This is not an example. If you highlight row four and say, hey, I have false conclusion, that is not showing me invalidity because both premises are not true. That's a really key point there. So make sure you're aware of why that doesn't work. So that's pretty much it. Being able to interpret the symbols Put them into a truth table if you want, verbally interpret them as well, I think that helps. And then once you have the truth table, cover all the cases and just show exactly why some are true, like this one, and some are false. If some are true and some are false, then you can't guarantee it's true. And if you can't guarantee it, it's not valid, right? that's the point. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed this and you found it helpful, drop a like that would be helpful to me and that's pretty much it thanks so much bye